intruder detected. No! Our expedition has grown thin. Such a shame. I actually found those two amusing. Shut up. Of course, my lady. A golem? So Darehenna's legend is true? It is no more than an obedient machine created to follow orders and kill. Not unlike our Witcher. Hmm. So I guess we should get along famously. You? What do you know about golems? I don't run into them in every forest, but any good bestiary describes golems at length, and I've read more than my share of those. Geralt, I'm not questioning your knowledge, but I should be the one to... Actually, you are questioning my knowledge. Listen, I know what I'm doing. I'll try to get it to reveal the word that'll deactivate it, or I'll just mess with its head. Break the code. So now we've got a burglar in our midst. Be my guest. Try. My intentions are good. As are mine. Know, however, that this may change. Derhanna must have been pretty lonely if he gave you eloquence. The master made me a guardian. Nothing less, nothing more. And you, provided you stand there, are a guest. So you're aware you're an automaton? Do we really know who we are? Where we came from? And where we are headed? Is human life predictable in that the cycle of birth and death ensnares it? Better than mine. When a human is born, he is obedient to his parents. Later, he listens to tutors, masters, corporals. Finally, he succumbs to the will of death. And to think that Adelbert questioned Derhenna's mastery. You are far more self-aware than a typical golem. Can you make sovereign decisions? The master made me the way I am, because long discussions were to his liking. I can make decisions, within my program, of course. So you decide who's a guest and who's an intruder? Who else would? Guests chat innocuously, exerting no pressure. All others are intruders. Has anyone tried to enter before? I recall no intruders. I do, however, remember guests who left after being warned. When was that? What did you discuss? I am a machine. My memory is limited. Who, if anyone, is allowed to pass? Dear Hannah, but he is dead. Also guests may pass, but I stop intruders. Tell me more. Who's a guest and who's an intruder? Is it not obvious? A guest keeps his distance, or knows the name word. An intruder is anyone who enters too far, attacks me, or otherwise interferes with my being. I have other questions. Do you remember your creator? Of course. I was summoned into being by Master Dehenna. I abide by his will, by his power by the necessity encased in my stone bowels. Derhenna is dead. His word, which animates me, lives on, as does his legacy, which I protect. Empires will rise and fall, rivers will shift their courses, but I will remain obedient to one master on my eternal watch. Derhenna must have been an exceptional man. Can you tell me about him? I guard everything that belonged to the Master, including his privacy, which he valued highly. I can tell you nothing. Can I ask you for the name word which brought you to life and which can deactivate you? Do that, and I shall consider you an intruder. 
I have other questions. Did your creator give you a name? I'm called Obedience and Unyielding Persistence. I am a guardian and the humblest of servants. A golem's name is the word that gave it life and that can take it away. You must have a name. I own nothing. Everything belongs to my master. How could I divulge the name if I exist solely to protect my creator's property? Powerful magic created you. Derhanna was a true master. He is still, since his mastery survives. Can we discuss the program that controls your behavior? Of course not. As a conscious being, you must be lonely here. You are wrong. The pain of the world, melancholy, lies within the domain of emotions and feelings. My thoughts are governed by pure logic, restricted by my program. But you can learn. They say that a penchant for philosophy can only come from curiosity. In my case, it comes from the will of the Master, who like to speak with me. And do you feel a need to discuss? I feel nothing. I just have that need. I have other questions. All right, I think I know how to get past this thing without a fight. Burglar witchers, philosopher golems, an expedition replete with fascinating discoveries. And terrible disappointments. Shut up, Adelbear. And you, witcher, deal with that golem. We know you exist by the will of your master, thanks to the name word he gave you. That is true. You were created to discern intruders from guests. You are to stop the former and greet the latter. Intruders must be stopped. Are you aware that intruders may seek to deceive you? I have stone fists to defend myself against those armed with swords. I have my iron logic to defend against those armed with words. But intruders could include sorcerers who alter reality. They could be illusionists or mere liars. What then is certain? My existence is certain, as is my master's will. Since only you and the master's legacy exist for certain, Everything else is doubtful. A malicious intruder could cloud your senses. I am the Guardian. The Master prepared me for that. He couldn't foresee everything, so he gave you a mind to compensate. You're much more conscious and intelligent than a Guardian needs to be. Your Master says, greet guests and stop intruders. That is certain, but everything else can be a lie. And you cannot allow yourself to attack guests. That would be against your master's will. Guests must be greeted, and intruders must be stopped. This is Tehenna's will. Are you a guest or an intruder? Doesn't matter what I answer. Your senses deceive you. You can trust only your mind. You can't assume I'm a guest because I may be an intruder. You can't assume I'm an intruder because I may be a guest. This is... A contradiction, a paradox, the law of excluded middle. We've done it. We've penetrated their Hennis laboratory. Let's have a look. <laughs>